Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Sasha, this. A 81-year-old female present to the ER with complaints of generalized tiredness, loss of appetite, fatigue since one week. On our initial 10-second assessment, the uh, airway was patent, no pooling of secretions. Coming to breathing, respiratory rate of 20 per minute, saturation of 98% in room air. Coming to circulation, BP of 110 bar 70 millimeters of mercury, pulse rate of 62 beats per minute. One cannula was inserted during this point of time and all routine blood investigations were taken. Coming to disability, GCSO V4, V5, M6, pupil, bilateral equally reacting to light. Coming to exposure, temperature of 98.2 degree Fahrenheit. GRBS of 130 mg per deciliter. Coming to adjuncts of primary survey, an ECG was taken which showed a normal sinus rhythm with low voltage complexes. Coming to ample history, an 81-year-old female, no previous comorbidities, present to the ER with complaints of generalized tiredness, loss of appetite since one week. The patient was admitted in an outside hospital with uh, fever with thrombocytopenia under evaluation and was referred here for further management. The patient also gives history of associated exertional dyspnea and constipation. No history of any chest pain, palpitation, orthopnea or PND. No history of any hemophysis malina. No history of any evening rise of temperature, fever or vomiting or myalgia. A past history, no similar episodes in the past. Medical history, the patient is not on any medication at present. So at, the, at the point of discharge, the patient was on doxycycline. Uh, coming to allergic history, no history of any allergies. The last meal was taken at 7 a.m. Coming to systemic examination, uh, on a, uh, local examination, on examination, pala was present, no extra cyanosis, clubbing, generalized symptomopathy, peripheral edema was present. Systemic examination, CVS, GCS, 15 by 15, pupil bilateral equally reacting to light, moving all four limbs. CVS, S1, S2 present, no murmurs. Respiratory system, normal vesicular breath sounds, no added sounds. GIT, no hepatosplenum megali, bowel sounds were present. We admitted the patient and we have sent the routine blood investigations, which showed uh, CBC was sent, CBT, CBC showing HB of 11.5, CRP of 20, platelet of 1,80,000, sodium of 128, potassium of 3.8. Other routine blood investigations, we have sent the serum TSH level, which has come to be 99. Other routine parameters were within normal limits. Urine sodium? Uh, urine sodium was 30, sir. 30. Slightly higher. Slightly on higher. Your normality? Your normality was normal. Sir. Normal. Can and it come under SIDH? Uh, no, sir. Because you had to roll out thyroid causes. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. And based on this history, uh, we have also taken an extra erect abdomen as the patient complains of constipation also, sir. And no air bubbles, uh, fluid levels were present, sir. And we have given enema and the patient passed tools. Based on the above investigations, uh, we have started the patient. In, uh, we have also did a screening echo which show a mild pericardial effusion, sir. Mm -hmm. In view of low voltage complexes. Any diastolic dysfunction echo? Uh, no, sir. A grade 1 diastolic dysfunction was there, okay. No, and mild pericardial effusion, sir. And we started the patient uh, on uh, thyronome, sir. Uh, thyronome, 25 liver thyroxine. Liver thyroxine, sir. Uh, on 25 micrograms, sir. Okay. And we have sent other routine parameters uh, in view of HP 11.5 peripheral blood smear was sent. Uh, we showed normocytic normochromic anemia, sir. And uh, we observed the patient for the next three to four days. Uh, we have observed the heart rate. Uh, this, uh, and we also added, uh, added salts were added, IV fluids were started. Gradually, the patient improved symptomatically, sir. Okay. Why patient develops hyponatremia in hypothyroidism? Is it a common finding or a not usual finding? Not a usual. When the thyroid levels are very high, TSH is very high, that means chronic hypothyroid. So, what will happen to your body fluids? Body fluids increases. Yes. Due to some mechanism, body fluid increases. It is not like your usual fluid, that's all. Body fluid generally increases. Okay. So, that normally it can reduce uh, sodium to a lower level, but you have to see the patient's consciousness level 122 uh, sodium and her consciousness is normal. Then, no need to actually add salt itself. 
when you are treating the hypothyroidism itself, normally it will get corrected. But if there is a clinical finding uh, which correlate with your sodium level, then you will have to treat. Okay. Urine sodium is high. That is also mostly due to hypothyroidism. Okay. One is one of the prerequisition for uh, uh, ruling out SIAD is uh, rule out thyroid, uh, thyroid and renal disease yes. because both can uh, uh, produce urinary sodium loss. Okay. Now, why did you start 25 microgram only? Uh, because normally uh, we start 100 microgram like that. Uh, sir, for people more than 60 years of age, sir, mm -hmm. uh, we need a lesser dose of the drugs. Sir. Why? Uh, the creatine clearance and uh, everything is on the... It is not so. depending on creatine clearance, it is something else. What is the reason we are selecting a lower dose? This happens in emergency room. Most of the patients who is having hypothyroidism, they come to emergency room with uh, high TSH, especially elderly individual. We always try to start high dose. High dose is required only in a hypothyroid coma. Okay, here if you start high dose, what complications can occur? Increase heart rate, increase heart rate. So, most important problem is increase heart rate and cardiac failure. Cardiac Patient cardiac develops a cardiac failure if you start slightly higher initial dose. Instead of that, you start a lower dose and build up the dose that will correct the problem. Okay. So, after starting 25 microgram, what anything. Uh, Happen to the patient or a patient? Yes, patient was tolerating. Sir. Tolerating. Tolerate then when when did you increase the dose? Uh, after discharge, sir. we asked them to uh, we look at the parameters. Huh. What parameter you looked at? Uh, heart rate. We have heart done. rate. Oh, uh, what is a uh, acceptable heart rate increase in any condition which can increase or which can decrease? Ten percent. Okay. Ten percent. It is twenty five percent of the existing heart rate. Suppose somebody is having like uh, 70, 25 percent can increase or can decrease by 24 hours. That is a normal dictum. Okay. Sometimes it can go high or low, but we have to fix it in that range. Okay. Now, when did you increase the ne next dose? Uh, after uh, two months. Okay. Now, what are the uh, emergency complications of uh, hypothyroidism? Complications uh -huh. which can occur in a patient who is having hypothyroidism, which is untreated. Uh, sir, two main complications are there in hypothyroidism. One is myxedema coma, okay. another is steroid responsive encephalopathy uh, with autoimmune thyroiditis. Okay. Uh, myxedema coma, it's mainly due to non compliance to the drugs uh, and where there is a trigger okay. uh, that causes the patient presented with uh, decreased sensorium and seizures. Sir. Trigger is what? Uh, it can be infections. Common uh, yeah, infection then? Sir. Any stressful any condition, drugs, any drugs, any stressful, stressful condition, condition like yes, uh, surgery, trauma, uh, infections, myocardial infarction, stroke, everything can increase the, st increase the stress and patient can develop a hypothyroid coma. Okay. How do you treat that? Uh, the clinical features can be hypoglycemia, hyperatremia, hypoventilation. Hmm. Uh, and uh, treatment is, uh, it's recommended like IV. Uh, thyroxine IV, IV, is not available. IV is not available since it is an orphan drug. Mm. So, we can crush the oral tablets and give through the rice tubes. Okay. Only uh, liver thyroxine alone is enough? Um, steroids also, also yes. Steroids. A patient who is having hypotension, steroids That's may be required. Patient is having hypoglycemia, sugar, sugar correction is yes. required. Okay. TPO, what about TPO? You may be doing TPO in some patients. Yes. Is it required for all patients? Uh, not required for all patients, sir. Right. The uh, TSH level is between 5 to 15 and the patient does not show uh, that much of symptoms and in pregnancy cases. Uh, TPA is an antibody. Antibodies. It is required only when there is a subclinical hypothyroidism. hypothyroidism. Okay. If the florid hypothyroidism like this, it is not no, required at all. Where you have like doubt, doubt whether to treat or not. Then you can do that and if it is positive, then definitely you have to treat. What you are told about some encephalopathy, encephalopathy, what is that? Uh, uh, steroid responsive encephalopathy associated uh, autoimmune thyroiditis. Sir. Mm. Uh, in these patients, uh, uh, it presents as a subacute course. Mm. The patient can present with confusion, uh, cognitive impairment and even decreased sensorium, altered sensorium can be present. Sir. Uh, one difference between myxedema coma and uh, uh, steroid response when encephalopathy is that myxedema coma is due to <coughs> non-compliance. But here any patient with hypothyroidism can uh, 
ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് <laughs> hypothyroids what echo finding you get in hypothyroids uh, pericardial effusion sir commonest is pericardial okay. effusion sir. then uh, diastolic dysfunction diastolic dysfunction is another important condition okay x-ray findings what x-ray finding you get hypothyroids pleural effusion bilateral pleural effusion large heart pericardial effusion these are the common findings okay same like that abdominal finding yes uh, obstructive, obstructive obstruction yes. features like gas can be there uh, subacute intestinal obstruction you cannot produce complete obstruction but there can be subacute intestinal obstruction any electrolyte imbalances are co- common in hypothyroidism you already discussed uh, sodium sodium sodium, sodium. sodium. hyponatremia hyponatremia is the classical electrolyte imbalance seen in uh, this one but it may not uh, require any treatment like we are given salt it may not be required at all once you start treating for hypothyroidism it normally settles down what cholesterol abnormality can get in hypothyroidism hypercholesteremia hypercholesteremia is very mm-hmm. classical and does it require any treatment control of thyroidism control of hypothyroidism is uh, enough yes. suppose a patient admitted in your icu who was taking 50 microgram of uh, liver thyroxine with severe sepsis what is the immediate uh, plan for you in that hypothyroid management i have to increase increase uh, straight away increase 25% stress. okay no need to think okay because this patient is going to have a stressful condition he require more uh, thyroid hormone so increase the dose at least by 25% then decide afterwards on uh, thyroid uh, hormone levels what is ecu thyroid so സിക്യൂത്തോടെ സാർ ഇൻ ക്രോണിക് ഇൽനെസ് സിസ്റ്റമിക് ഇൽനെസ് വൻ ദ ബോഡി എൻ്റെ സ്പേസ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാർവേഷൻ സാർ സോ ടു പ്രിസേർവ് ദ ബേസിൽ മെറ്റബോളിക് റിദം ദ ആക്ഷൻസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു മെയിൻലി ടി ത്രീ സാർ സോ ഫിസിയോളജിക്കൽ ആക്ഷൻസ് ആർ ഡ്യൂ ടു ടി ത്രീ ആൻഡ് ടി എസ് ഇസ് എ കാറ്റബോളിക് ഹോർമോൺ ടു പ്രിസേർവ് ദ സ്റ്റാർവേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ടു മെയ് മോർ ഇൻ ദ ഫെഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് കൺവേർഷൻ ഓഫ് ടി ഫോർ ടു ടി ത്രീ ഇസ് ഇൻഹിബിറ്റഡ് സാർ so there will be decreased t3 level and uh, reverse t3 will increase with the tsh normal sir okay what is the role of magnesium in hypothyroidism is there any role that uh, electrolyte or well, it is not an electrolyte it's a mineral that requires for the action of the thyroid hormone in the peripheral tissues so that also sometimes can produce uh, peripheral hypothyroidism means uh, hormones may be normal but since uh, hypothyroid st- sorry since uh, magnesium levels are very low it can adversely affect the clinical scenario so if patients are having hypo hypomagnesemia that also should be treated okay so common electrolyte imbalance will be hyponatremia that does not require any treatment once you treat your hypothyroid it will uh, subside but magnesium has to be corrected because that is required for many hormone actions of many hormones okay including thyroid hormone that has to be corrected what is the relationship between hypothyroidism and diabetes so not temerance medicine uh, questions uh, it is related to medicine is there any relation uh, hashimotos and diabetes okay, there is because a many of these uh, conditions are autoimmune, autoimmune. diseases uh, same autoimmune uh, type of th- uh, diabetes can also yeah, be there yeah, okay. so there is a co- strong relationship between hypothyroidism and <laughs> diabetes okay many patients with the diabetes can actually have hypothyroidism so both are autoimmune type of disorders okay you want to add anything else uh, 
సార్ వన్ ఇస్ అప్రోచ్ టు ద టిఎఫ్టి లెవెల్ సార్ ఇఫ్ దర్ ఇస్ అన్ ఎలివేషన్ ఇన్ హైపోథాడిసం దర్ విల్ బి ఎలివేషన్ టిఎస్హెచ్ లెవెల్ సార్ దర్ ఆర్ సెవరల్ పర్మిటేషన్ కాంబినేషన్స్ ఆర్ దర్ వెన్ ఎవర్ దర్ ఇస్ ఇంక్రీస్ ఇన్ టిఎస్హెచ్ విత్ డిక్రీస్ ఇన్ ఫ్రీ టీ త్రీ ఫ్రీ టీ ఫోర్ దట్ ఇస్ ప్రైమరీ హైపోథాడిసం టిఎస్హెచ్ ఈస్ లో టిఎస్హెచ్ ఈస్ లో విత్ ఫ్రీ టీ త్రీ ఫ్రీ టీ ఫోర్ లో టీఎస్హెచ్ టిఎస్హెచ్ ఇస్ నార్మల్ విత్ డిక్రీస్ ఫ్రీ టీ త్రీ ఫ్రీ టీ ఫోర్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ అప్రోప్రియేట్ టిఎస్హెచ్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ యూ టు రీడ్ అబౌట్ హైపో మెగ్నీసీమియా అండ్ టిఎస్హెచ్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఓకే ఇట్ క్యాన్ బి ఎ జెనెటికల్ డిసార్డర్ ఇట్ క్యాన్ బి ఎ అక్వైర్డ్ డిసార్డర్ ఆల్సో Uh, then uh, in decreased TSH uh, with increased free T3, free T4, primary hypothyroidism or thyrotoxicosis. Sir. Decreased TSH with decreased free T3, free T4, central hypothyroidism. Mm-hmm. Sir. Coming to the uh, clinical features, uh, due to increased hypothyroidism, uh, the basal metabolic activities decrease fatigue, uh, generalized tiredness, constipation can be there. So memory loss can be there. And uh, catabolic activities also decrease. Sir. And... coming to hypothyroidism congenital acquired is there sir primary acquired again further primary and secondary primary is acquired cause are hashimotos other causes can be iron deficiency and uh, post surgeries and drugs blocking and synthesis of t4 like lithium ethionamide sulfonamide and iodides drugs near is- icu which drug can produce hypothyroidism icu related drugs amiodarone 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 and then what is both hyper and hyper what is the action of amiodarone in thyroid how do it produce hypothyroidism mm. what is the initial step sodium iodide is important initial step is inflammation mm. and hyperthyroidism later it produces hypothyroidism uh, then other thyroid infiltration diseases like amyloidosis sarcoidosis can be there sir mm-hmm. in hashimoto thyroidism uh, the genetic abnormalities hla dr3 dr4 and dr5 so it has association with addison's sle diabetes sjogren and hypogonadism sir okay uh, then their patients can, with hypothyroidism if you ask them they can they will tell that uh, tls are very low jogren's so, so, syndrome so, so. can so jogren's syndrome can be there associated with uh, other diseases it will become jogren's syndrome okay. and there is false positive hypothyroidism sir associated with addison's disease yeah. so in case of uh, hypotension and there is decreased cortisol insufficiency if you supplement uh, Uh, thyroxine then it again further increases the metabolism of cortisol so first we need to supplement with cortisol then okay. you have to add up with thyroxine so so what is a uh, uh, advisable tsh level in a hypothyroid case uh, upper limit of low normal sir lower sir towards the lower, lower, limit, lower limit lower limit of the normal. normal that means our lab is 0 to 4 so uh, the tsh has to be less than 2 so, okay if it is very low near to zero then you have to adjust the dose when what time patient has to take uh, the dose thyroid hormone early morning in empty stomach sir empty stomach. Seven okay. before doing tsh level what are the precautions patient has to take um, so avoid all the uh, drugs which can cause interactions on a fasting state most be. important is, is complaints okay so patient you have to make sure that patient has taken the tablet okay. at least last two weeks that is the first question you are going to ask if the tsh levels are elevated when when the patients once the patient come for follow up the tsh level is still high in in spite of your optimal treatment then you have to first question should be asked whether the patient is taking tablets properly or not otherwise what will happen you will be unnecessarily increasing the dose yes. okay patient may go to tachycardia osteoporosis all these things anything else okay thank you